Yo, what is up, YouTube? Uh, today, massive fucking trade. I'll get right to it. Um, about $3,300 in the span of two hours. Okay? Um, massive fucking trade. I'm going to break it down. Um, everything. Everything that happened this trade. Um, because it was, it was pretty fucking crazy. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, so, to start out with... Um, we had a liquidity sweep at about 8.25 this morning, and price kept going up, came down, kept going up, um, and it, it came 10 o'clock, and I didn't really see a break of structure or a liquidity sweep on the top side. I definitely wasn't waiting for the low side to be taken out. Um, so I kind of was like, ah, man, you know, that fucking liquidity sweep at 8.25, you know what is it? What does it give us? What are we? What are we seeing? So here, um, this is where that sweep was. Looks like eight twenty six, um, and then it kind of just fucked around for a little bit. Um, but here, um, we can see that there was a fair value gap right here, um, and price came down out of it, making this fair value gap. Price came up and hit it. And started coming down. Um, I didn't put my eyes onto the one minute time frame um, until probably right around here. Um, during this time, I was away from my desk um, for a little bit. And so it was like 10.18 and I had seen it. Um, it already hit the fair value gap in my time range. And I was just like, fuck. I already missed my entry. Because realistically, I would have entered right around here. Um, because uh, we have our fair value gap, retracement, break a structure right here. I probably would have entered right here in this range. So at this time, I was just like, you know what? You know, I had a I had a shit loss yesterday. Let's just take the day off trading. Um, let's just do some fucking paper trading where I don't actually fucking make anything. I just put everything on a chart and see what happens and, you know, just kind of boost my confidence a little bit. Well, price... From 1018 to 1035 started coming back up into right where I would have bought, right into this area. And I was like, man, like, why the fuck am I paper trading? I don't need fucking confidence. I know what I'm doing. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. So I bought or I sold my position or however you want to say it. I went short right here. I put my stop loss um, on the top of this fair value gap, okay? risking one thousand dollars and literally like 10 or it was, uh what is this 11 i don't know why this candle's here hey, what the hell oh sorry 10 36 i i i went short and it just fucking plummeted started going down like crazy um i was trying to get out uh for my 0.75 percent percent position like right here dude um but I'm not even fucking kidding you. Um, it wasn't letting me. Um, we can look at... Um, let's see. Order history right here. Um, so right here, you can see this is where I sold. Or no, sorry. Is that it? Yeah. You can see this is where I opened. Um, or is it this one? Yeah, it should be this one. Why does it not have a value to it? Hmm. All right. Well, right here is where I fucking placed my position. Um, and then I tried closing part of my position. You can see that, right? I opened a position for 25 watts. I tried closing out 18, and it was getting rejected. I tried closing out 18.75 because that's true 75% of 25. And I was like, and it wasn't going through. And it was literally telling me it was getting fucking rejected. And there's no liquidity at requested price. Well, what does that mean? I didn't know what that meant at first, but this is what I think it means. So when I was trying to get out, like right here, okay? And it's saying no liquidity at this price. And it comes back to my fair value gap. All your fair value gap is, this range right here, there is nothing but sell orders right here nothing but sell orders right here okay 
um, in this little range. And what that means is that there's no buy side liquidity. Well, if I'm trying to sell my position, right? I'm trying to sell my position um, for somebody to buy it. Nobody was buying right here when I was getting rejected. I was literally clicking it. I was like, what the fuck is going on, man? Nobody's buying this shit as it was coming down. It was the craziest thing. I don't even know if that's right, but I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Nobody's buying this position here. Um, and it kind of just solidifies my theory of if price is just fucking coming down like crazy right here, there is nothing but sell orders right here. And same thing for here. Nothing but sell orders. And so nobody was buying my position. I'm pretty sure what that's what it is. Okay. I could be wrong, but that's what I think it is. Regardless, I finally closed out 75% um, of my position here for a net of $1,087. Okay. Going up, you can see I had 6.25 watts left. And you can see I was just fucking going crazy with my stop loss. Stop loss move, stop loss move. And really, after this, price just kept ripping down and I was moving my stop loss with it. And that's what these arrows are. I moved my stop loss all the way to here. I moved my stop loss to here. I moved it to here, here, and here. Um, and I just kept following my stop loss. Like, holy fuck, this was a big trade today, man. 9.39R, um, crazy, okay? Um, so I just kept adjusting my stop loss pretty much all the way down um, until we came over to this level here and it kept going. I was like, you know what? That's enough. I've, I've made enough. Um, and so at one point I tried closing it again and it was telling me to fuck off. We're not buying that shit at that price. Um, and I was, and I was just like, I was literally freaking out. I was like, what the fuck? So I was like, fuck it, dude, we ball. So I just kept, uh, changing my stop loss, ch kept changing my, um, take profit and then finally at uh, a certain price I closed the position um, my stop loss take profit they all got removed my position which netted me $2,200 and this is the span of two hours okay um, all these lines are points of resistance on my uh, thing so for instance this line here right um, this is the bottom of a fair value gap for here um, here uh, was my 0.75 because it came into this fair value gap. Um, I was like, okay, could be a little bit of retracement here. Um, bottom of a fair value gap here, filling another fair value gap. And these are all on different time frames, right? Um, we can see um, right here, it respected this fair value gap over here for a little bit and even came back up, right? We can see that right here, um, kept coming down, took out this low over here. And then, wow, would you fucking look at that? It took out this low over here. Wow. Then it started going up. That is fucking crazy, man. It's almost as if I fucking know something. Okay. I'm not saying this works 100% of the time. I'll show you how much this fucking works. Hold on. I will show you how much this fucking works. Um, I have a statistics thing for my account. Let's see. Give me one second. Here you go. Here is a stats thing. Let's go to stats, statistics. Uh, best trade, $2,200 on one thing. That's what, that's what we had seen. Hold on. Give me one second. Here we go. $2,200, that's what we see here, okay? Worst trade, that was my trade yesterday. Um, I lost 1.1%. Um, I've bought a total of 180 lots so far, and I have a 82% win rate, okay? I'm not saying the shit works every single time, but there is something here, and I'm not even saying my fucking way to trade is the right way, okay? There's thousands of ways to trade. You could fucking flip a coin and trade, okay? It doesn't matter. All that matters is what I'm doing is working. It's netting me fucking profit, okay? And here is just an example. I mean, point proven, right? Came up, took this level out, fucking shot down. Where did it shoot down to? There's fair value gap. A little bit of resistance here. 
kept going down, took out this low, and then what did it do? It's gone right back up. Man, this is fucking crazy, man. I don't even give a fuck about the money anymore. How many of you can sit here and be like, yeah, I can tell you where the market's going today. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, fucking like ABC News and like uh, the fucking news channels in the mornings when they're reading stocks, there's a dude on there that's like, oh yeah, this stock's doing this. Um, there's a betting group that just bets against that guy because he fucking sucks. Okay? I don't even know his name. But, sorry. Let me simmer down. I was getting, I'm getting a little passionate about this, okay? Boys. Did I fucking nail one today? Absolutely. Have I lost before? Absolutely. But the proof is in the fucking pudding, man. Okay? The proof is in the pudding. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful fucking day. Okay? And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And I hope you guys are enjoying these trading videos. Um, and I hope you're also enjoying WoW content if you're watching both of them. Thank you guys so much for your support. Okay? I hope you guys have a great day. Great week. We're almost to the weekend. And I'll see you guys then. Okay? Peace.